KAA Ghent versus West Ham United in the Europa Conference League quarterfinal first leg. Um, it, I think as a West Ham fan, you'd be forgiven for sort of somewhat forgetting the importance of this and the excitement of this because it's been such a slog this season domestically. Um, and, and it's been quite a drain. And a lot of us are all just kind of looking at the end of the season. Thinking, let's just get there, let's get to survive, you know, let's stay up, and draw a line under it. You kind of forget the magnitude of what we are in here. You know, we're in a European quarterfinal and not only are we in a quarterfinal, but we are in general favourites to win the tournament um, as a whole. I mean, I'd go as far as saying this is probably the best chance we've, we've had, um, certainly in my lifetime, um, as, of winning something. And I'm including the FA Cup final in that because we were playing Liverpool, who were far superior to us. And we were very much the underdogs. Whereas this time round, you look at this thinking West Ham, a bit, this is a massive opportunity to not only lift a trophy, which would be amazing, you know, something I've, you know, we'd all been dreaming of, but it would also, well, get us back into Europe next season, which would be fantastic. But it also, it would make this season that's been so terrible to watch suddenly a successful one. It would, it, it could literally flip everything so quickly. Um, a massive opportunity for West Ham. Now, and also it's an opportunity for David Moyes. And that's why I want to talk quickly about David Moyes. I don't want to really go on about it too much, but there is um, some stories now in the, in the press and it's come from the times. Now, XWH employee hasn't commented on this, so I don't really know much about it. I'm low to believe it, I'll be honest. But what I'm referring to here is that um, the Times have reported that David Sullivan and David Moyes have come to an agreement that at the end of the season, he's gonna, uh, they're going to part company. Uh, David Moyes will leave the club. That's even if he wins the Europa Conference League and keeps the club up. Now, I, I'm struggling with that a little bit. And the reason I'm struggling with that, and I'll talk about this on another video, but I, 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 I just struggle to believe that David Sullivan would dismiss David Moyes if he won a trophy. I just don't see that happening. This is, By the way, this is David Sullivan who's stuck, stuck with David Moyes throughout this whole season, despite many opportunities to, to get rid of him. So that's just my thoughts on it. But what... But for this for this video, let's just say that that is true. Let's just say that this is David Moyes' final season at West Ham and he is leaving whether he wins it or not. But it's massive for David Moyes because, one, he gets a trophy, his first trophy as a manager. But two, then he leaves on a huge high. And the fans would be, I'm sure, would you know, would clap him away from the football club and be delighted, you know, with what he's achieved. It's a really, really, really big opportunity for West Ham this game. And and one that I'm I'm excited about. As you know, as I've said, it's the back of your mind, there's always this Premier League season looming, but this is that outside time when we can just try and switch off from that and just think about what's in front of us here. Um, and what is in front of us is Ghent. Now, I don't know much about them. I don't know t t a great deal. I've obviously written some notes down previously. I've looked into a few of their highlights and bits like that, but I've, that's all I'm going off here. Um, so, Ghent, but this is what I'm seeing from Ghent. This is not going to be an easy game uh, or, you know, over two legs. This is going to be tough. Th these are no mugs at all. They're fourth at the moment in the Belgium League. They've got a 50% win ratio and their last six games, they've won four and drawn two and with no, zero defeats in their last six games. So they're in very good form. And a, a couple of those results are very high scoring. I think 6-1 or something like that, 4 nils and things. So this is going to be a tough game. And they've got one of their players, Hugo Kuipers, I believe his name is, and he has scored 19 goals. Now, I might have pronounced that horrendously wrong. So if I have, then just please correct me or, or at least forgive me. Um, and he scored 19 goals. He's their main goal scorer of the season. They've got, they have got they carry a lot of threat. There's also another player called Hong Hoyan Siok, who's got five goals and five assists. So, look, this is not going to be an easy tie for West Ham. And rightly so, and it shouldn't be. This is a European quarterfinal. It should not be a walk in the park for West Ham at all. And I, I, I'm sure West Ham are not going to go into this with that kind of attitude. David Moyes will be very well aware this is going to be tough. Um, but what is in our favour is the first leg, of course, is away. Um, so if we can get a result there, then you think, well, there we go. We've got one foot in the, in the semi-final. So it's a big, big opportunity. Um, West Ham, on the other hand, you know, you got, we go into this game... At, at towers are pretty much up, well, a, a tad up, you would say, after the Fulham result. You know, a, a, you know, it wasn't the best of performances, but we got the job done. Uh, and I think that's got to be the case now, really, for the rest of the season, isn't it? I, I, I think the idea of us putting on brilliant performances and destroying teams, it's just not really going to happen. You don't, you don't really see. You think West Ham are going to have to be very pragmatic the way we set up and the way we approach games. And I think this will be the same for the Ghent game. I mean, you've got to say West Ham in Europe this season have been fantastic. It seems to suit us. We play, the system works well. I, I, I can see us playing well in this game. I think we'll be pretty comfortable. I'd like to think that'll be the case, but I'm not being arrogant about it at all. I think, you know, we've still got to have our wits about us and we've got to play well. Um, interesting injury news then. So Lucas Paqueta, um, 
uh, XWH employee now has revealed that Paqueta has been training um, and is available. It looks like he's going to be available for the game. Now, whether they're going to pick Paqueta um, for this game and, not, and maybe rest him remains to be seen. Now, what I'd like to know, actually, from uh, people that are watching this and fans that watch this, is that what would you do in this scenario? Because, you know, you, people would think, well, you've got Arsenal Sunday, you know, you've got to remember that. But a part of me just thinks, look, when you look at the games left in the Premier League, I'm talking here, Arsenal and Man City, there's a couple of games in there you just think are very unlikely to get anything. So, and this is, as I've said, a hugely important uh, competition for West Ham now this season for what it could offer. So would you bother resting? Would you would you start thinking when well, we've got Arsenal Sunday? I'm not writing Arsenal off, by the way. I'm not suggesting that we just kind of forget Arsenal. I don't, you know, that's a really important game still. And, you know, who knows about that? That We'll deal with that when it comes. And I'm not su suggesting we can win that game because I think it's going to be very tough. But, you know, there's always, there's always a possibility. But for my feeling is we should be treating this game as a hugely important game and playing our best team, regardless of what's going on in the Premier League at the moment. Because Arsenal's a very, very tough game. Um, I, I mean, what I'm basically leaning towards is if, if Paqueta's fit and available, I'd play him, certainly. And I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Lucas, um, sorry, uh, Jan Lucas Kamaka, though, is out. And it looks like he's going to be out again. The, the, no the noises from X has been it's going to be another two weeks. Another two weeks that we've just had on the pretty much two weeks we've had. So I, I have no idea what's going on there. But it just seems like this a, a typical West Ham injury, just dragging on and on and on. There's no end in sight for it, which is a bit of a blow. Um Obviously, as well, another thing that's quite interesting, what I was talking about there is that we've got the Ghent, the two legs of the Ghent game, and in between that is the Arsenal game. Now, if West Ham can approach the Arsenal game and think, well, look, let's just shut up shop, try to contain the game, try and get something out of the match and not concede as many goals, you know, try and keep our um, goal difference in mind, then bearing in mind, after the second leg of the Ghent game, we've then got Bournemouth, Liverpool and Palace all in the space for about six days. Now, they're three games that really could keep us up. If West Ham can get, let's say, six, even maybe seven points from those games, we're pretty much safe. So bear that in mind when you're thinking about the Arsenal game and then their selection for tonight, because I would just go for it. I really think that if we can get one foot in the door, let's get ourselves into that semi-final. And as I say, treat the Arsenal game, the respect it deserves, obviously treat it and go, look, we've got to just shut up shop and try and deal with Arsenal. It's going to be very tough. But then in the back of your mind thinking, because after this Ghent tie, we've then got three games we can effectively keep ourselves up, that would be my thought process behind it. That is exactly how I would be if I was David Moyes. So I'd be interested to know what um, uh, what you think about that. But um, here we go then. It's uh, again, and it's a really tough one to predict. I don't know enough about them to suggest that we're going to cruise the game or really struggle. I don't know, but I'd like to think West Ham will win this game. Uh, my gut feeling is it's going to be 2-0 West Ham. I'd love to see your predictions as well. But, you know, here we go. Come on your irons. <laughs> 